Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. But before you let me know in the comments, come here, come closer, come closer. Mm. Don't get scared, I'm all love. But subscribe to the channel and give a damn like. It is not gonna take you more than one second. So give a like, subscribe and enjoy the content. Yes, we are gonna react to another reservoir video because this one is between two YouTubers and I wanna give a light bringer another chance of going bananas and smashing people here. So this is between light bringer and turbo, which funny enough, turbo, which is another YouTuber, he was the one who recommended me to react to Lightbringer. Now, I hope the light smoked his A. So, let's let's get it done. If it's boring, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna just pause, pause it. And the other thing is like, we're gonna do by two speed because this speed is one hour. I don't really want it to be one hour, okay? So, let's get it done, guys. So, five billion BP, apparently, He's gonna go crazy because I caught him in the last moment, in the last video maybe, he wasn't being himself. So let's see, we are, ah, they, are, they know, they know, they know because they watch the YouTube videos. Now, before going into the reservoir rate, you know what I'd like you to do, guys. If you are a, a spender, you gotta activate synergistic attack and massive march. You have to have that advantage in the beginning. What else in the match you are gonna have that advantage? You are fighting like the strongest player from the other alliance to take the main buildings. And the only way to have an advantage, because if you are both max, is to have more troop capacity and that extra damage. And that extra damage and troop capacity, it is just gonna come from the massive march and from the synergistic attack that maybe the other rally leader hasn't activated yet because he doesn't know and he doesn't listen to me in YouTube, right? So you have to do that. I don't know why you are activating that halfway through. So enter my boy, why are you, maybe you are a reservist. Uh, maybe he wasn't sure if he was gonna participate. So that's why he's always coming late, maybe. He's always a reservist. Uh, maybe, that's it, okay. So it's open, yeah. He never had the uh, opportunity to take the buildings. I think he's always being a reservist. Now, you can see here, you see, maybe that's like uh, his building, which is nice. But here, the, 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 the team, which is here, is bigger than the other one. They might be able to take it. Throw your main march there, take this building. And if you see, for example, that this building is not being taken and this building is not being taken, you have to take those buildings, even if the in the in the, the strategy was just to take these two buildings. If you are not seeing the other buildings being taken, you have to go for those buildings. You have to take those first occupation. They are super important. So yeah, save your main march a little bit faster. I don't know why you are saving formations late. And go to the yeah, the other buildings taken. Check the other one because maybe you have one person there. Oh no, they took it. So you can call a rally or. Ah, uh, nah, I don't think you're gonna solo it because they have four people there. Yeah. You could have gone to Helipad. Yeah, Helipad, man, you might actually be able to take it, actually. Uh, well, you, you are late, okay. So you take the building. What are you doing? Uh, you are sending your second march? No, you're, you are changing your things again, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now rally's coming from the enemy. But while the rally is coming, what do you want to do? Yeah, try to take other buildings or try to attack them. Ah, uh, no, they are full. So, do you defend? Yeah, so you big thing is stats. Now, you are taking those buildings. If you have two options here, which is, uh, which is hold the buildings or try to help other buildings. So, yeah. I wouldn't recommend to port like this unless you're gonna port, take that building and port back to defend the buildings. If you're not gonna do that, then it doesn't make any sense because they're just gonna be resetting the buildings because you are gone every time. So yeah, take those two buildings if you can and then yeah, open the rally to the other one. Or you can send your second march to that one if there is a big difference in stats. But one more time, it comes down to what I always said, guys. As an spender, you have 5 million BP, you have like a six strongest marches, six, six strong marches, because remember, 
you are a spender and the weakest, your weakest march, it is always going to be stronger than maybe one of the slowest spender free to play players march. So you are just working with one march, having six marches. You have to do something, call a rally to the other building, send your second march to this building to defend the rallies or try to open a rally to helipad on, or start attacking people. This plasma six here, this plasma nine, call a rally to try to kick them out of the building. You cannot just sit there with one with five marches available doing what? So yeah, rally's coming, you took it, perfect, okay, reinforce the building because they're gonna take it back. Nice. Now you have to, to call the to take the other building, yeah. You have to do something, you know, you lost the other building, that's it. You didn't send your second march there to defend. Now you, you took this one, they took the other one, you are in the same position. So you if you're gonna take another building, you have to make sure to send your second march or to take it and take back uh, go back to the other one to defense. But one more time it comes down to okay, you are sitting there with five marches doing what? Yeah. You are taking that building. Now four marches available doing what? Taking helipad? No. Trying to take the other building? No. Trying to kill this P8 here, which might be super low in troops, so that P6, so that P9, not. Just going around looking buildings. Uh, I will just start like smoking people there or maybe open a rally to helipad because I already checked the stats and they are not good enough so they cannot kick you out, reinforce the building, reinforce the building because the rally is coming or oh, the rally has already hit, you might be low in troops come on, where is turbo? I haven't even checked to see if turbo is around uh, uh, come on, reinforce the building oh, it's full already so what are you doing with the other marches then? Rally is going to the other building, is that rally full? Check. Come on, come on. I gave, I'm giving you a second chance, Lightbringer. I'm giving you a second chance to go crazy and kick people. Uh, rally is coming, send your marches. Send a march, send a march, send a march. Yeah, nice, go quick, because the other rally is coming. Uh, yeah, send it. Yeah, keep sending because they keep attacking you. Mm. Ah, they cannot kick you out, so yeah. You are taking the other building, call a rally to helipad, uh, or uh, start smoking people around. I'm, I know that I'm super annoying with the start using your marches, guys, but if you are an spender, you know, you have like all this power. You have like 20 million troops. Someone tell me in the comments a good reason just to be there using two marches and the other ones you sit in there like, I could call a rally to helipad and maybe take it or maybe not, but it's just a try at least. Instead of having your four marches there, I might attack people around. Yeah, they might have, I don't know, 20 million troops. It doesn't matter, but at least I try. I cannot sit here with 20 million troops like, oh yeah, two rallies and that's it because that's what I, that's what was asked for. They told me to take two buildings, so I took two buildings and yeah, I stay here with my five million troops, six million, 10, 20 million troops. I can understand that. So let's see if the rally is taking that building. Check the report, if troops are low, solo that building, take it. Check the report. Check it first, check the report. Nice, go, go there, or try to send another solo march. Send another solo march, you're gonna take it. Oh, yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are reinforcing quick. Now you just lost it. Now. You, 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 you have to port there to throw your marches there, take it and go back to the other building to reinforce. Uh, they reinforce. Nah. Yeah, you can actually go there. Go there. They're reinforcing. Go there. You can go there and then come back to, to get the other one. They are reinforcing. Come on, quick. Oh my God. No, oh, you have to go there. They cannot take you out of that building and if they take you out of that building, you're gonna take it back quick. This one is priority now. So go take it, six marches soloing, take it, wait for reinforcement, go to defense the other one. No, no, what are you doing? Oh my God, there, the building is clearly being reinforced. Why are you sweating biocaps and stuff there? You know, you are defending this really easily. 
Pull your main marks, send your second here. Well, now they took this one because you were wasting time with the other one. Now you have no building. Surprise! <laughs> now they're winning. And on the top of that, they're winning. Well, your chance is center. If you don't take center, I'm gonna... Okay, because center, if you take it, 9,000 points for first, first... Oh, no. And now you are gonna do it. Now you're, you think it's a good idea. When they reinforce the build, the build is almost full. Come on! Center, my boy! Center, heli, center, munitions, uh, death compound. Oh my god! Center, my boy! Center! Oh, look at this! And now he's so brave to take it. This guy timing is all wrong. Yeah, you can collect the puddles, but it is not gonna be as much as what you're gonna get for center, which is 9,000 points. You have to go there. If they take first occupation in center, it's gonna be tough. Now, I think this guy or the strategy of the thing is just relying on center or, or on the puddles, you know? Let the people control and they take the puddles. It might work, it might not work, but now you see, yeah, see munitions and yeah, that's what you have to do. That's what you, yeah, same, because they're gonna kick you out. Send your, hmm. Okay, send, you have to, to defend the other building. They're gonna solo it, yeah. Oh my god. And munitions and heli and, and the other one. Munitions and the and death compound. They are fighting for death compound. Go. Death compound. Maybe. What do you think? Maybe if you check it. Munitions, if you check it, do you want to check those? No? Okay. Uh, rally, did you check the rally was full maybe? Mm, or not? No, no, doesn't matter if it's full or not. Okay. Uh, let's go, come on. Was it full? No, uh, let's see, uh, it wasn't full. Let's get, but why don't you check the report? Yeah, it wasn't full. Yeah, surprise. Uh, now you solo one, but you don't keep soloing. Yeah, feel please, feel, you didn't check it. Maybe they feel it, but they need to be sped up. So if you didn't feel it, if they, you didn't check, maybe it's not their fault. You see, maybe, yeah, that's what you had to do, maybe. Instead of just like wasting bio caps on other things. Uh, now you are focusing just on one building. I will call a rally to munitions once you are there. Or I will call a rally to like the other water processing and because maybe they have accumulated a lot of points there. You are not gonna solo munition. Come on, my boy. Munition opened like four years ago. You think that you can solo it? Okay, they took it. Why is it so slow now? Uh, nice, reinforce. Uh, now you are reinforcing all building. Yeah, might be a good idea. It's better than keeping your four marches there at least. Uh, yeah, munitions bounce, bounce back. Surprise. I, now you have to wait for your march to come back or you have to waste speed ups. Which is clearly was a bad idea to solo munition after 10 minutes uh, uh, opening. Uh, yeah, what do I test the waters around? If you don't think I'm offensive, like, like for example, as, a, as having a super strong play, if you don't think I'm offensive, like approach, uh, it comes down to strategy. Because if you take an, an offensive approach, you throw the strategy of the opponent out. But if you are just there and there are better players, which are uh, there are because I've seen the turbo videos and they're always like super strategies. Um, and yeah, you might lose, you might lose. But um, let's see if you pull it off like the last time, uh, going for the puddles and collecting the water, although it is not looking good. It's not looking good, my friend. It's not looking good. So um, yeah, t one more time now, three marches there. He's just there looking, looking at buildings. So I, I am a... You are gonna solo. You are gonna solo. <laughs> if you solo it, I shut up. But it's clearly that it's full, my boy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, now you lost the building. Oh my, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, someone, you have to... You have to take another building. Call rallies to other buildings. 
You're gonna just be solo in buildings. And then make those people from center poor. Make them poor, make them pay. What are you doing there? They are trying to take your building. Uh, um, yeah, if you're gonna call here, call a rally here and the other building. Call a rally to the other building or send your second march to center, which is a good idea as well. That can be as well, a good idea. But now don't stay there with just two marches. Like, oh, or you either open a rally to the other building to try to take it, you know? Or you start like uh, annoying people here around you, for example, so that they can just uh, maybe port or distort them a little bit so they don't take that building back. Okay. Call a rally to the other building, my boy. Or smoke these people here. Ah, you have to do something, yeah. Mm, yeah, you take the building for sure. You are super strong. They cannot beat you in the stats, apparently. Every rally you have throw and it is full you have won the battle so clearly you are have you have an advantage on stats so take the other building so hold this building take the other building and then test the waters do something you lost center now wasn't strong enough check the report they are low in troops they don't have a big enough team there maybe if it's low in troop you can solo it and and, and take it back but uh, if you don't check the report, what your, yeah, this is your idea of playing, blind, blind playing. Yeah, you, you might just go there. Go, go, go there. If it's super low in troop, no, they reinforce already. But you could, you could have taken that before if you shook the report super quick. But if you don't check it quick, you are not going to be able to, to do anything. Next, I want to rally center. Yeah, maybe, but you are not even rally the other building. You are just taking one building at a time which is um, um, a bad idea to say, to say the least. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just lost the building. You didn't reinforce it. They double rally. Now you have to call a rally and call a rally to other building. If you have to choose between fighting for this one center, you have to fight for center because you are not even taking two. If you were taking two buildings, it might make a difference between the points that you are accumulating per minute to leave center alone. But if you are just fighting for one building, you always have to go fighting for center because per minute you are accumulating more water points. So it doesn't make any sense of you to stay there. Go to center and then open a rally to other building. Uh, you are seriously going to solo that. Don't tell me that because we are going to have a problem here. Uh, I don't... I'm not happy with this at all, guys, with this performance. I'm not happy with your performance. Uh, you see, yeah, tell me, okay, someone tell me here, a, a good guy, which is like, a, we think that someone tells me why it is a good idea to do it now. Someone just tell me, why is it a good idea to do it now? Why? Nobody knows. If you were attacking people, maybe might be a good idea, but you are losing. You might have well focus on building. And now it is not going to make a big difference with rallies when you have like 20,000 more troops of your troops. It is not going to make a big difference. In the beginning, it makes a big difference. But now it doesn't. Rally is not full. You didn't check. Uh, they might be reinforced super good because these teams, they play well. They're reinforced good. They have a good strategy. Now, uh, if you take it, you are lucky, but I think got reinforced already. Yeah, they got reinforced already. You, you saw five marches going to the building. It got reinforced. So why are you only taking one building? Why? Why are you only taking one building? What happened to the other buildings? And if you're only going to fight for one, why are you not taking center? If rallies don't feel... If you don't check if there are guys... If, I'm going to give you just like a little... Like, just like... I cannot even say it now, but maybe it's not their fault because maybe they are feeling the rallies, but you have to speak them up if that's the dynamic of the alliance. If they are not feeling the rally, but it's their fault, but if they are feeling and they are just expecting that you speak them up and you are not checking your rallies, then whose fault is that? Yeah, that, that's what you have to do. Maybe they are feeling, but they are a little bit late and, and you have to. And now if they are not feeling it now, it's their fault. So now it's full. Go down to make sure that everybody's getting in. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah, nice. Everybody's in, but you have to call a rally to the other building. You are just fighting for one building. I cannot 
Uh, and it's just a close fight. And they, and they could just win at this point, but uh, I don't get it. So you're going to take this back. Now you have to check which if you are going to go for the polos. Now this is a good idea to go for the polos. This building here, water processing one, I guess, um, it has to have a lot of water collected. So if you reset all these two, you are going to get a lot of points. But one more time, people tend to forget about those. I'm going to start bouncing around to open up buildings soon. So that's a strategy. I'll do post core. So apparently this is a strategy for the guy. I, 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 this is a decent strategy, you know, the puddles, but you have to combine all that. The puddles and play good the minutes before, like throwing the puddles strategy, holding buildings, resetting buildings, taking buildings. If you put all that together, you will be super dominant. So you can still will do the puddle thing, but if they are smarter than you and they like, have a good strategy and they, they see that you are trying to steal the water, they are just going to collect it and you're going to be just in the same place. So check water processing. Uh, you took the bill. Oh, uh, that one. Yeah. 10,000. Come on. Yeah. 10,000. You are going to solo it. That's the strategy. Let's see. Check those reports. Nice. You took it. Nice. Now it is gonna be closed. Now you have to go for another one, but send marches to the building actually. You also want to hold the building. It's not all about the puddles. Nice. Go. But you see now it's not, yeah, it's decent. Now it's closing the gap. Nice. Go, but you have to take the buildings as well. You can just pour to the other ones and, and just let them take the building back. Now you have to go to this one if you want to get the polos or to this one to center as well. Center might have like 4,000 points. But you see, they are, they are just like uh, collecting the polos as well. They close the gap a little bit, but um, yeah, I don't think they are going to win if they keep playing as they are playing, unless they have some serious water collected, like for example, the other thing, and they collect all those puddles, that's going to make a big difference. But now they are just waiting, uh, gaining in points and they will keep gaining points. So now if you keep going, you might be able to, to solo that building. The people are ready to collect. Now, what I see is that there are, I have to give them credit that they are super good when it comes to collecting like water around the puddles. Uh, when he says in the chat, in this one, in the other one, I'm going to go for this one, people are ready to collect. And that's a big advantage here in the Reservoir Raid. But for the other strategies that they have, like taking buildings, for getting center, like the slow calling rallies, focus is just on one building. Uh, I, I I don't see that's a, that's a good idea. So now there are the other team. Let's see. Are they ready now? You might have, might need 12 more marches to kick them out. Just six, throw six marches, six after six. Go, go, go. Go, go, keep going. Just six marches. I don't know why he's afraid of using his fifth or his sixth march. Yeah, go, keep going. Quick, quick, quick. Go quick. He just, just, just send, send marches. Put, just press equalize, equalize. You have more, in, more infantry, so it is going to be an advantage in infantry. Go, now you are going to take it. But they are taking the wall buildings, you see? You also lost some polos now. They, they, they are gaining water at a rate, which is super crazy. Now you have to take all those buildings back. Go to center, open a rally to other building, not only take centers. And you see, they were not sleeping on that building. They collected some puddles there. So I think they relies too much on the puddle strategy. And, and sometimes it might work, but sometimes it, don't, it doesn't. So. It's still close, but the other team is playing like better and they're collecting more waters per minute. So make sure that the rally is full, okay? Make sure that the rally is full and you have to call a rally. Uh, nice. Yeah. Phil, come on, guys. Nah, uh, it's too late, too late, too late, too late. Yeah, it's not full. Maybe center is not full, maybe because a lot of them left. So it's going to be able to take it. Uh, no, check the report. Yeah, go, 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 go. Send marches, send marches, my boy. 
Send, 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 send. Oh my God. Send marches, my boy. It's getting reinforced now. Mm, I think they reinforce it already. Let's see. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just so slow that it's painfully, it's painfully slow. Uh, now you have a neutral building there. This one here. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, feel it, feel, it, feel. It. No chance. I don't think you're winning this one. It is still close, but they have a better strategy. But it is crazy how close it how close it is. It it should be like one sided, but they are like that with the puddle strategy. They are going good, good. And here, if they collect all the puddles, they get to one well one hundred nine thousand, and the other ones get to they stay in one hundred. So it might be even if they good if they are good at collecting here. You see. Well, they, they, the other team, they were not sleeping on that. But it's now even, as you can see here. You saw? But they are being kicked out of the buildings as well. So if they pull it off, if they pull this off, it is going to be crazy because I'm, I'm giving them like the loss already. But they are doing well with the polos, you see? I cannot believe they are going to pull it off again because uh, the other team is doing way better. Uh, let's see. Come on, guys, uh, mate. Uh, yeah, go, 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 collect, collect the water. Ah, uh, now, now they are, the enemy just was like, was being a little bit more alert. But it's super close. It's super close. Now they are focusing on water tanks. Okay, another 2000 reset. Yeah, is this strategy working? Yeah, it is working so far, but they, they could they, they could save a lot of struggle if they play a little bit better. So yeah, collect the, the water. Nice. Nah, you were a little bit slow. Come on. Now that one you might get it. They are winning. Oh my god, they are cannot believe they are winning just doing this. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, they took center. Now, uh, yeah, go to helipad. Take a look to helipad. Or well, if you are there, yeah, you might as well hold these buildings. Yeah, take a look at helipad on the, the water processing here. Because if you keep flipping those buildings and, and gaining at that rate, now they are going, yeah, now they are going crazy of water tanks. Oh my God, they're, don't tell me if they win. I'm going to be like super surprised, to be honest. Um, let's go the other one, the other one, the other one, the other one. Check if you are now with the puddle strategies, check the other one. Yeah, that one, and not that one here as well. These two and helipad. Uh, now they are focusing from water tanks. The enemies are getting a lot of water tanks. Ah, yeah, hell, ah, the other one. Go to munitions, then you cannot stay there, like, yeah. Uh, not the other one. Oh, they took solar. Nice. Nice. Now, if you want to learn something about these videos, um, take all the advices that I give you, you know, in the beginning, and you put the, the, the water polo things that they are doing on the top of that, and you're going to be a good, at, a very, very good alliance. I'm not a big fan of, like, max people spending the time on watering like or, or gathering water but at this point that's all they need you know the score is super close they are flipping buildings apparently so the advantage is in the puddles and in the water tanks so if you kick them out of the water tanks and you keep them out of the the buildings and take the puddles then of course um, it is going to be a good idea. So I said before that I'm not a big fan, but if it is needed, then it is needed. And now all they need is just to keep, keep them, yeah, and to keep collecting the puddles and then go back to water tanks. And apparently they are going to win. They're winning. They are winning. Now they, they, there is a big gap. It's exactly the same battle as before. The beginning of the strategy was like, like, like stupidly, like painfully to watch. But now, 
I'm liking the idea of like, you know, going to this building, kicking them out, going to this, um, and then, you know, making sure that they are just collecting all those puddles, because as you can see, it's just making a big difference. So I'm still not a big fan of the, the focusing on one building, how slow it is, blah, blah, blah. But uh, when it comes to taking those buildings and take the puddles, he's doing a very good job. So as you can see here, boom, there is no much to take, but every single drop of water counts. So you might as well send your team to take it. And oof, center, you have to collect those water in center. Because now the airmen might be doing the same. Now it comes down to water tanks. I wouldn't even worry about buildings unless they have accumulated a lot of waters in the buildings. For example, in this one's 300, in the other one, I will check if I don't have enough water accumulated in the other buildings, I will just go for water tanks because at this point, there is nothing that they can flip that is going to make a big difference in points. Now, it is a good idea to take those buildings, kick them off the water tanks, and you are going to win. So here, this is now for me <clears throat> a clearly win unless I have missed a building that they have accumulated a lot of water. Now, this is water tanks, kick them out. It's a good idea. Kick them out because they cannot flip a building which is going to do you a good damage like tanks yeah that's what you have to focus because the buildings they are all empty quite like water gathered so there is no big flip uh, you might as well focus on, on water tanks go for water tanks come on water tanks water tanks or you are now occupying the buildings but send two marches to water tanks do something with two marches come on Water tank, my boy. Yeah, you're already there defending buildings. Eh? This one is, uh, yeah, I cannot see the points that are accumulating, but yeah, there is nothing to flip. You are winning with a big advantage. You might as well just throw the water tanks. Apparently, the other team is giving up already. Yeah, they are clearly giving up. So, so yeah, it's a win for you. There, there is nothing they can do that it is going to make a big difference. You already just took those... Uh, they are already giving up. They are trying to smoke your build, your your people. So yeah, you might just either give them that last kick like this one, just taking the building and keep accumulating points. Or I would actually go bananas because there is no way that they are gonna win now. It doesn't matter how much water they gather in the last three minutes. So go bananas. Go kick them. Go kick the ass. Go kill those troops. Ah. I have to say, well done with the puddling. Well done with beep, kick, kick, kicking them out of the buildings and taking the puddles. That made a big difference. I'm not a big fan of the, the first, like, um, if that is a strategy, you know, him just taking one building, sitting with five marches and waiting for the enemy to collect a lot of water just to kick them out of the puddle. I'm not a big fan of that salty turbo. Turbo, you're, you're born in my friend. Oh my God, he got you. Is that turbo? Salty Turbo, my God. With one match, he always like, ah, uh, yeah, you see, he's just sharing that. He got the prize. He not only beat your ass, but he burned you at the end of the day. So big shout out to Livebringer. It is not what I expected, to be honest, in terms of like how he plays and the strategy, but he's getting the wins. You know, as long as you are winning, sometimes it doesn't matter. You know what I said now. Is this like a, a respectable strategy that you say, wow, this player is crazy? No, but when it comes to going around and doing what he has to do, to do with the puddles and stuff, he's doing a great strategy. He just showed it in this video and in the other one. I'm still a bit like a disappointing with the, the, the way he plays in the beginning, but uh, apparently after the, the 30 minutes mark, he starts kicking in and going crazy and getting a lot of points for the team. So shout out to him. And, and yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.